center of Tokyo in the Shinjuku area, a man named Rebira has taken over the place by opening a dimensional door to the demon world. Ten years later, a young man who knows the art of Nempo, named Kyoya, whose father was killed by Rebira, with the help of a woman named Sayaka, must find Rebira and kill him in order to save the world. The old man told me that I couldn't win. Do you know that? Yes, but Rebira is about to complete the bargain that he made with the demon world. He'll bring chaos to all humanity if no one stops him. But it won't be easy because they have to take on the demonic minions of Rebira. Huh? One of Ruby Ra's demons! So this is a horror thriller anime created by Hideyuki Kikuchi who is best well known for creating the Vampire Hunter D novels. And it is directed by Yoshiaki Kawajiri. The story of this anime has this typical hero, save the world, get the girl kind of storyline. And you know, if you're into that sort of thing, you definitely may like this. It also has some uh, good human on human and human versus demon action. <laughs> Plus you have two decent characters that you could consider likable. Although I thought the supporting characters could use a little bit more background to them. A demon of hell. And what a fitting place to find him. The animation of this anime was done by the director himself. Although the character designs are plainly detailed, they were pretty well drawn. You can sort of feel this certain darkness within the character designs which I really like. Plus the monster designs were pretty nice. But I love the background designs of the city. It has this eerie feeling and you really get the feel that this place is a demon city. The voice acting for the Japanese dub is just terrific. The Japanese voice actors definitely connected with their characters, both verbally and emotionally. As for the English dub, it was just bad. I mean, none of these actors put any effort into connecting with their characters. Not to mention, I find some of the voice actors very annoying. You attack without thinking what you're doing. You should always be sure you know your enemy first. My enemy is easily identified by his arrogance. The music of this anime was done by Matoichi Omeda. The music has this 80s style techno horror music that kind of reminded me of the film Escape from New York. I mean, it sounds a little weird, but somehow it kind of worked with this anime. And the president is being presented with a bouquet by the reigning Miss Universe. Leave it alone. Don't touch it! In the end, Demon City Shinjuku is a demonic experience that may send chills down your prickly little spine. So, that's my review of Demon City Shinjuku. I give this anime a 4 out of 5. See ya!